Okay, this morning we're going to talk about attending the auctions, your bidder numbers, protecting your bidder numbers, and your liabilities for going to the auction. Uh, when you get to the auction, of course, you by now you understand how you're going to pick up your bidder badge. Now, your bidder badge is an adhesive label. Uh, I personally recommend that you don't display your bit, uh, bitter badge out there because, um, you know, put it on a clipboard, put it in your pocket, or do that somewhere else so that nobody else has got access to your number and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a secure, security issue. So you want to make sure that even though they will ask you to display your bitter badge, I'm going to ask you not to. Uh, it's just too easy for the video numbers or the numbers to come up. Now, they claim they have a video, and they do, uh, that they can preview uh, the buyers on the website uh, when they're uh, doing the auctions. Honestly, I, I have had a one instance in the past where they claim that they could see the bidder number on video, but they couldn't see the buyer, which made absolutely no sense to me. Uh, how can a badge and a, a less than a one inch number on the badge be visible and the person's face not? So uh, we wound up having to buy that car, uh, basically because uh, one of our uh, agents, the agent that they claimed that bought it was not even at the auction that particular day, and I knew that for a fact. Uh, he was at the office with me, uh, but still they recorded him as buying this car, and we wound up having to pay for the car. So let me uh, state from here out that if your bidder number is displayed or it is used out there, you're going to be held liable to purchase that car, to pay for that car. Now, the dealership here will go pay for it, obviously, because we're bound to do that by the auction. But we're going to pass that expense on to you. So please, 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 please make sure that you are securing your bidder badge. Do not display it like they're going to ask you to display it because there is a case where there have been numbers transformed and things. And if an auctioneer... Uh, points at you and he's got your bidder number out there and I've had it happen uh, where an auctioneer will actually um, take my bidder number and, because I am I may be bidding on a car and, and it happens often because uh, sometimes you might be bidding you're at $2,900 on a car for instance and the, the auctioneer says, okay, $3,000, he's going to bid, you're going to pay an extra hundred for that car. And I've had them do it for that because they come back and say, hey, Randy, I, I've put you in at an extra hundred on that car. So it would qualify uh, for a green light as opposed to being a red light. So in that particular case, your auctioneers can be your friend or your ring men can be your friend. Uh, but remember, they have act, they record your bidder number. And when I'm there, uh, and and or and I know when Shane is there, and some other people are there, that they recognize our faces and they look at our bidder number and they see that we're bidding on something. A lot of times, uh, they use that bidder number even when we're not really sure what's going on. Uh, but we trust most of them. Uh, they're not going to do it. Uh, really uh, to harm us. A lot of times if they're using our bidder number, um, they're doing it on our behalf. So don't display your bidder number. That's my main thing. Now, uh, we have t-shirts here. Uh, and we they're not only for business promotion, but we offer them to our, uh, when you join our program, you're going to get uh, some of these t-shirts. You're going to get at least two of them, anything more than that, and you want them for your personal everyday wear, then you're going to have to buy them. We're going to give you a couple to wear primarily at auctions, and they're also there to protect you uh, 
because if you're there and your bidder number is used and that video is going to display whether or not you're wearing that t-shirt. So we're certainly going to um, challenge any video out there that has a bidder number on it and it doesn't have that t-shirt that you're wearing. Um, so we are asking you when you go to the auction, wear your identification that we've supplied you because it's one of the first things we're going to look for. Were you wearing an auto wholesale group t-shirt? Uh, if you're wearing that t-shirt, uh, it's a big, big case for us to be able to go to the auction and say, hey, uh, he's one of our wholesalers or he's not one of our wholesalers. We do request that our wholesalers uh, do wear the t-shirts for their protection, for our protection, and the auction's protection. We ask that those, they're, they're just across the board, wear them. Um, so uh, keep that in mind. Uh, if you would, let me shut this phone down. Uh, wear your t-shirts, keep your bidder numbers private. Uh, good luck today at the auction. Today is DAA day. It's a smaller auction. Shane does very well out of buying at this auction. Um, it, it, it's his hometown. He loves Murfreesboro. So he's close to being to his uh, favorite auction. Uh, and he's done real well about buying out of DAA and taking to a larger auction. So um, I hope those of you that are going with Shane today, I know that some of you are going and shadow him today. I wish you the best of luck. He bought a, a car yesterday that I'll be uh, going over with you on the next uh, video and explain why he bought the car and, and uh, you know what he was looking for. He bought it early in the run numbers, which you're going to be discouraged from doing uh, because your earlier run numbers are mostly your more expensive vehicles. Um, but anyway, Shane got a good car yesterday, uh, so I'll be highlighting it and uh, going over what we hope to do with that car. Please like and share this information with like-minded friends. Good luck and thank you.